may be hard to imagine a time before politicians were celebrities, but there was an era where politics and entertainment rarely collided. Now a new book examines the mixing of the two as political figures adopted Hollywood personas and styles throughout the 20th century. Joining us this morning is the author of Showbiz Politics, Hollywood in American Political Life, Purdue Assistant Professor of History, Catherine Brownell. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having Congrats me. Congrats on, on uh, putting out this new book. Thank Tell you. us, Showbiz Politics, I'm paraphrasing now, is a marriage of advertising, consulting, and entertainment making politicians celebrities to gain political legitimacy. Mm -hmm. Flesh out a little bit more for us what showbiz politics really is. Absolutely. This is something that is a result of broader changes in American politics and culture over the course of the 20th century, where you see a shift from a political system dominated by political parties to one in which the media plays the prominent role in which politicians communicate to their voters. And that really started a lot with the invention of television in the 20th century. We mm -hmm. have the Nixon-Kennedy debate famous in 1960. Talk about how that started to change things for mm -hmm. politicians. Well, what's really interesting and what I show in my book is that television makes political contenders realize that Hollywood can be very valuable politically. Before the 1950s, these changes had taken place in California. Uh, however, it's John Kennedy on the campaign trail who realizes that he does not have the power within the political party to assert his legitimacy, so he needs to find a new way. It almost seems that it's less and less about policy now as it more is about celebrity. You talk about Kennedy being the first celebrity president, Reagan the first actor president. Mm -hmm. He said, I don't know if I could do this if I didn't know how to be an actor. Talk about how far we've come in those decades oh, since to now. Well, Today, entertainment plays such a prominent role. We see uh, President Obama going on the Jon Stewart show, Hillary Clinton going on the Jon Stewart show, President Obama appealing to voters, uh, especially younger voters. Uh, entertainment has become a really prominent way to engage younger voters, to try to get them to turn out to the polls, uh, and Obama has been really effective in using entertainment to build a coalition. And so entertainment has become a priority now. It wasn't always. It used to be on the periphery. And now politicians see as that can become a central way to winning the White House event. It's right in the middle. I want to get your thoughts really quick. It's often said that Washington is Hollywood for ugly people. What do you think <laughs> about that after writing this book? Well, I actually think that many, many celebrities would say that they're trying to be taken seriously. Yeah. So for in Hollywood, it's the reverse. Mm. About that. All right, Catherine Brownell, uh, Assistant Professor of History at Purdue. You have this new book out called Showbiz Politics. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you.